All right, in this example, we're kind of continuing the theme of trying to see the simpler algebra problem in this messier trig expression. So we're gonna start with this part A, and we're trying to add two fractions together, add two rational expressions. So to do that, we'll need a common denominator. Um, I would start by factoring, but there isn't really much factoring to do in this case. So I'm just gonna go straight to saying, well, the common denominator is going to have to have a factor of one minus X and a factor of one plus X. So each one in this case actually does just need to get multiplied by whatever it's missing. So I'll multiply the fraction with the one plus X in the bottom by one minus X top and bottom. And I'll multiply the fraction with the one minus X by the one plus X top and bottom. So that's gonna give me a one plus X times one in the numerator and my LCD one plus X, one minus X in the denominator. And then the one minus X in the top of the second fraction and the one plus X times one minus X in the bottom. Okay, and then we're adding, so that's a nice one. That means we're gonna add the numerators and put that all over the LCD. So I have one plus X plus one minus X. The two ones are gonna add up to two, but kind of nicely that X plus a negative X that actually drops out. So I just get two over one plus X, one minus X. Okay, so for part B, we're again trying to apply these same algebra tricks we know to something that looks a little bit worse. So I'm still seeing when I look at this that I'm trying to add two fractions, so I'll need a common denominator. And I always start that common denom denominator process by factoring. But once again, one minus cosine X, one plus cosine, or T, I'm sorry, uh, not really much to factor. So that means the LCD will just have to include both of those things. So we will multiply the one plus cosine T by the one minus cosine T. And whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top as well. And then the same thing with this other one, one plus cosine T over one minus cosine, oh, I'm sorry, not minus, plus cosine T. Okay, and that's gonna give us, multiplying straight across, the top will just be one plus cosine T times one, so just one plus cosine T. The bottom will be the one plus cosine T times the one minus cosine T. We go and the second fraction will end up with just the one minus cosine t in the top and in the bottom it will also have one <clears throat> excuse me plus cosine t times one minus cosine t and now that the denominators are the same we can go ahead and add the numerators so just like before i'm going to get the one plus one is two but then kind of nicely i'll get a cosine t plus an uh, negative cosine t, so that will actually drop out completely. So I just get two over one plus cosine t times one minus cosine t. Uh, something to point out here, avoid the temptation to cancel this out or cancel this out. It's not that you can't do that. It'll just put you back where you started. We just worked really hard to add those in. So I know that's really tempting. I know we trained you to look for that, but don't do it when you're building up common denominators. Um, otherwise, these are the kind of tricks you're going to use to help you sometimes with solving identities. So just practice this and then be on the lookout for chances to get a common denominator and add two things together, to simplify by factoring, to simplify by dealing with complex fractions. You'll see a lot of that. All right. Thanks for watching.